Welcome to the Tech Blog Writer Podcast, your guide to future tech trends and innovation in a language you understand. Now, over to your host, Neil Hughes. Welcome back to the Tech Blog Rider podcast. Now, one of the lessons I'm learning from my own personal journey after leaving corporate life behind a few years ago to actually help the global community launch podcasts, ghostwrite thought leadership articles, is accepting that I cannot do everything myself. Now, I don't consider myself a control freak, but I've had people say to me, oh, Neil, don't spend all your day sifting through hundreds of emails. Get a virtual assistant in. Let them manage that. Or almost anything that you do, people say, well, just outsource that. But I must admit, I struggle to let things go. But equally, I do accept that I might be the guy for writing. I might be the guy for producing podcasts. But I readily admit and hold my hands in the air and say I suck at design and video making and video editing. And it occurred to me that individuals and businesses of all sizes have the exact same problem. Because everywhere we look, we're told that video is king and the visual web is officially here. But what if your business doesn't have the required skill set to actually stay relevant in an age of visual web? So when searching for a video guy, I came across a scalable video solution company that also just happened to have an amazing and intriguing backstory too. Viral Ideas is a company that provides a scalable way to produce content through corporate video solutions. And some of their video solutions include corporate video production, on-demand video editing and in-house video training. And I quickly learned that they've produced over 1,200 videos for organisations ranging from financial firms, manufacturing companies, franchises, SaaS products and healthcare. And this quickly captured my attention because every Indiegogo, Kickstarter campaign, corporate website, startup or just a solopreneur, everyone has a website with video on there and you don't get a second chance to make a first impression. And that video on the front page of the website, that could determine your future success. And yet when we go on all these different websites, we don't necessarily think about who made the video that's on that website. So I reached out to David Feynman, and he's the CEO of the Fast Growing Video Production Company. So I invited him on to learn more about what they do, but also find out a little bit more about his backstory that began when he was just 16 years old at high school. So buckle up and hold on tight so I can beam your ears all the way to Philadelphia so we can learn more about viral ideas and their on-demand video editing service called Flixation. So a massive warm welcome to the show, David. Can you tell the listeners a little about who you are and what you do? Thank you so much for having me on the show. Uh, my name is David Feynman. Uh, I am co-founder of a company called Viral Ideas. We are a uh, video company here in Philadelphia, PA, and we also have a company called Flixation, which does on-demand video editing. So uh, it's, it's a, a, a newer business for us, but uh, you know, that, that one basically handles you know, companies' editing needs. Excellent. And before we get started, I think we must explore your backstory because you started your first company only 16 in high school. And I hope that we can possibly inspire some of our younger listeners, entrepreneurs and startup founders who are listening today. So can I ask you to share that story? Yeah, sure. Absolutely. So, you know, when I was when I was younger, uh, I, I started a started a company in high school when I was when I was 16 years old. Uh, it was um, you know, essentially actually I'm still working with one of the guys that was a part of it, Zach, Zach who's my Who's my business partner to this day now, you know, ten years later, but um, you know, we we did uh, essentially what it was it was teen dances in in an athletic club. So we would have you know, we would set up a concert. You know, Zach Zach owned a DJ company at the time. Who's my business partner? You know, and I uh, I had this uh, promotion company. And we we would promote these these teen dances in a basketball gym. We would have a thousand and two thousand kids come out you know every weekend to or not every weekend, but, you know, once a month to to be a part of these. You know, large, basically large-scale dances, concerts. We had different acts that would come in, different rappers, and you know, different DJs that we would bring in from all over. So uh, it was a good time. It was, it was my first real, real introduction into business. Man, you must have been one of the cool kids at school, man, as well. Yeah, <laughs> I was. I was a bit of a nerd. You know, we we hired the cool kids to promote for us. <laughs> After eight hundred interviews, I think you're the only guest that has enjoyed amazing success with a zombie run. Can you tell me more about that? It was a national zombie-themed five k. 
we essentially had people dress up as zombies to this, uh, basically a Hollywood set that we created and people would run through the zombie course. We had about 35,000 people do it all over the country. Wow. And where did that idea come from? Uh, it was actually a, a friend of mine in high school and I, uh, we came up with the idea when we were in high school, ended up doing it when we were in college. Um, and, uh, you know, it really came from, you always run faster when we're chasing, we're at a haunted house, you know, being chased after with one of the guys with the chainsaws were like, Hey, you know, we were both runners at the time. We had both done, uh, marathons together in high school. And uh, we're like, hey, we, we'd run a little bit faster if someone was chasing us with a chainsaw. And that's, that's where the whole concept came to be from. And so a way, way to motivate people to get, to, to get moving a little bit and uh, you know, encourage them to be a little, little bit healthier you know, through, through some scary zombies. Love it. And I also read that the zombie run generated $1.4 million in only nine months using Facebook advertising. Can you tell me more about how you turn that viral idea into a reality? And do you think it's still possible to achieve that kind of success just using Facebook advertising? Yeah, so, so actually, you know, that story, that case study became essentially the backbone of how we started Viral Ideas, right? So we, we use video marketing, Facebook advertising to, to build, you know, to build up an audience there. And, and what happened was, uh, you know, we started, uh, we started getting a couple of people, you know, after, you know, you know, after the run with that company, we, we ended up um, meeting some people that wanted us to do some consulting for them to, to generate some Facebook ads and, and, you know, drive business their way. And, you know, still to this day, you know, we have clients that, you know, do videos with us and run Facebook ads and, you know, get incredible returns on their investment. So, you know, still to this day and, you know, what's today, March of 2019, in case someone's listening later on, you know, it's, it's, it's a great strategy to, to really bring a whole new audience to your business. And it's, and when you think about it, you know, Facebook distributes to Instagram, Facebook distributes to a whole audience network within apps. So, so, you know, a lot of people say, oh, we're moving off Facebook, but it doesn't matter. Facebook, Facebook touches everyone in some way. So, you know, it's really the omni-channel way of, uh, of being omnipresent in your business and, uh, you know, a great, well-targeted way to do your advertising. And, you know, it worked for us back then. It still works now for, for people. It's sometimes even better because the, the platform has evolved a bit. And are there any secrets that you could share about, about using Facebook marketing or just to get the most out of it? Uh, I wouldn't call it a secret, but uh, definitely like a – a great tip would be make sure you have a Facebook pixel installed on, on your website. This will allow uh, Facebook to, to give, give a look at, you know, who's visiting your website. Now, I, I don't know if I fully understand all the rules in, in the U in, you know, in the UK with GDPR, yeah. uh, but you know, so, so obviously it's a little bit different over here uh, across the pond, but, uh, but you know, we, you know, the Facebook pixel using that in some capacity, I pretty sure it's a thing over there. Um, but uh, th- that that would be the number one tip I would have is is, is get that set up and that, that just gives Facebook a, some visibility into what's going on in your website, which allows it to to really function in a in a smart way and you know really really use that supercomputer that they uh, that they have going on over there to to help bring you some customers. Right here in 2019, of course, you're the CEO of the fast-growing video production company called Viral Ideas, which my understanding is an on-demand video editing service, and you have something called Flixation on there, and you're based in Philadelphia. But for people just tuning in, can you help set the scene and share the story behind Viral Ideas and the, the problems that you just set out to solve with your services? Sure. So so we, we actually evolved the company a bit. So the company originally started out as uh, pure consulting, and we ended up pulling out of that, you know, Social video as a service, which is what viral, which is what viral covered, and you know midway through it, we realized that companies, small and large alike, had this huge need for a bank of content, right? So they 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 had tons of video content just lying around their office and, and DVDs and on digital files, but you know, they they weren't exactly sure what they should do with it, how they should use that for for business purposes. So you know we developed Flixation, which essentially lets people you know log in, upload their footage uh, to us, and you know, we, we essentially provide them a whole back office of, of editors that they can um, they can use to edit their videos. So, you know, not only do we offer viral ideas as just, you know, social video production, but we, we offer a way for, for companies through Flixation, you know, as, as the current evolution of the company to, you know, log in and, and, uh, and, and really, you know, be provided with, you know, high quality, you know, high quality video editors uh, with, with the creative director included. So it essentially covers their you know, covers that need of, you know, hey, we need more content. The internet beast is chewing, you know, chewing up content uh, faster than we could feed it. And, it. and it covers the need of, hey, you know, here, here's a group of people who know how to know how to edit for social. So it's been working out pretty well. 
So if we zoom in on Flixation there, which, like we've talked about, is an on-demand video service, but I've got to ask, who is it aimed at? I mean, do you have any uh, client stories or use cases that you can share just to help people listening understand the kind of people that you're working with? Sure, we, we do a lot with uh, we do a lot with agencies. Um, that, you know, they're they're a, they're a pretty big market for us, and we do a lot with uh, some SaaS companies and some franchises. R- really, it's a, it's a service for businesses. So, you know, and, and those are the markets that we've played in so far. And so, can you just walk me through how to get up and running and get the most out of the platform? So, say we've got a, a business that wants to try and create a video for a social campaign or something like that. What, how how would they uh, get up and running with you guys? It's it's really a quick process, right? They they you know we try to set it up. Um, I'm really big on experience design, um, as as is my business partner, you know, creating the optimal customer experience. We can get into that a little more later, but you know what what we try to do with our with our platform is, you know, uh, people log in, they they s- submit their video footage, um, you know they and um, fill out a brief, and uh, in five days or less they get a completed product for them to use on on whatever medium they'd like. And are there any trends around video production at the moment and te- different technologies coming in, or has it remained largely the same over the last few years? I mean, th- there's a lot. Um, you know, I was, I was just down at South by Southwest uh, in, in Austin, Texas. For those of you who don't know, it's a, it's a huge, huge festival down there where it's kind of a melding of technology, minds, film, and music all in one festival. I, I kind of hang out for the tech part, and a lot of what we're seeing is uh, some, some programmatic uh, – some programmatic video where you know videos can be changed with a with you know a, a piece of code and in a sense of you know let's say you Neil want to see a video clip right you'll see your name in that video or uh, you know or, or something of that nature and you know it's it's really just kind of evolving to be more personalized you know, I, I see it being a ways the way before we can truly get to that complete personalization of advertising but you know we definitely you know it's, it's it's trending that way and you know even if it's um like more of a macro personalization where it's you know where there's a specific audience and you make a specific vignette of of that of a certain video clip to cater to that audience that that's an option too so we see a lot of our clients you know they'll do one main video but it'll be it'll be broken down into 17 different campaigns so they'll get 17 different smaller treatments of it to go after different target audiences on Facebook or Instagram and did you leave that event with your your mind buzzing and lots of ideas of how it could evolve for the future? Yeah, of course. I mean, I've, I've been there. Uh, I've been there for four years. Every year, it's it's uh, it's more and more interesting. So, what's next for yourself and viral ideas? Is there anything else you can share with us about the future and what you're working towards? Yeah, sure. I'll, I'll share a little bit. I mean, we're we're always trying to to evolve what we're doing to fit uh, both the client and market need. So. You know, for us, we we see ourselves um, we see ourselves building uh, more technology and uh, you know more around more around our, our current product offering to to really service uh, service clients for for the future of what we do. Um, so um, can't exactly say what that is yet, um, but you know we're we're definitely we're definitely up to something. And of course, if we do have anyone listening that's to our conversation today that's inspired by your own story, is there any advice that you would pass down to them? Sure. Yeah. I mean, if, if you haven't, if you haven't started anything, you know, my, my best advice uh, to someone is, um, you know, start small and, and fi- find a way to, to start, to start something for yourself and, you know, make, make something that you can, you can do yourself, whether it's something, you know, as simple as a, as a side business or, you know, as complicated as starting a whole company, you know, you just gotta, you know, I, I started when I was 16 and I didn't really know anything about business at all. You know, it's just kind of got, got my degree in it as I went. So it's, you know, you could you could do the same. You can just kind of dive in, and, you know, you know, figure out uh, figure out as you go. You'll learn quick that way. Fantastic. Well, if anyone wants to uh, stay up to speed with the kind of work that you're doing and the kind of changes that you're implementing and some of the stories and client stories that you're doing, what's the best way for listeners to reach out and find you online, or maybe even just contact a member of your team? Sure. You could you could check out our website viralideamarketing.com or flixation.co. Uh, all of our social media handles are there. Also, if someone wants to reach out to me, you know, I'm pretty active on uh, most social media, um, so Instagram, Facebook, LinkedIn, and I'm happy to I'm happy to connect with anyone there. Well, I think we're all moving towards the visual web. I say moving towards; we're already there, and images and video are just dominating every website. So I suspect you guys are going to be incredibly busy. More than anything, just a big thank you for joining me on the show today. Oh, it was a it was a pleasure being here. Thanks, thanks for having me on. 
A big thank you for Dave coming on the podcast. Uh, he's already been featured on several big news outlets and over 30 different podcasts. And in addition, he's also spoken at several conferences, including Trajectify Live and the Visit Philly social media day. So a big thank you for coming on. But I do love his story of, of how he created that zombie run and went on to generate $1.4 million in only nine months, all by using Facebook advertising. It's certainly food for thought on how to better leverage Facebook, Facebook marketing, especially when you combine it with a unique idea that appeals to people. But it wasn't his past that got him on the show today. It's also fantastic to hear how our app viral ideas is actually helping businesses from all over the world to create videos. And essentially, those videos shape the way people think about brands. So, yes, I'm a written and audio content kind of guy, but I do understand the power of video. And it's something that I desperately need to explore. But again, it's something I've just not had time to do. But before I do that, I need to know where all you guys listening hang out. Is it Insta Stories, Snap Stories, Facebook Live? And would you want to see me sat in my pants eating biscuits, waxing lyrical about my mundane life and my day ahead? Or is the podcast more than enough? Now, I do have a great face for radio, so (laughs) I suspect it's the latter. And I'm probably rambling on a little bit. So keep those questions coming in. And you can send me a question by emailing me directly, techblogwriter at outlook.com. Get me on Twitter and Instagram at Neil C. Hughes. So let me know your thoughts about viral ideas, everything you've heard today and the future of video content. And also if you have any tips for creating good video content and any bad habits that people pick up along the way too. But that's it for me, so I'm off to make myself a brew and wait for those questions to trickle in and say those words. Thanks for listening, and until next time, don't be a stranger. Thanks for listening to the Tech Blog Writer Podcast. Until next time, remember, technology is best when it brings people together.